Psalm 22 is no doubt a psalm of lament. The distress of the psalmist is palpable. With no one to help, he is consumed with a fear that debilitates him, exacting a physical and emotional toll. Then rather abruptly, the threat is gone. Those who conspired against the psalmist have been replaced by a loving, worshiping community. Fear of affliction becomes reverence for God. The world is no longer a place of danger, but a source of joy and blessings. Lament transforms into praise. My God, why did you dump me miles from nowhere? Doubled up with pain, I call to God all the day long. No answer. Nothing. I keep at it all night, tossing and turning. And you, are you indifferent, above it all, leaning back on the cushions of Israel's praise? We know you were there for our parents. They cried for your help and you gave it. They trusted and lived a good life. And here I am, a nothing, an earthworm, something to step on, to squash. Everyone pokes fun at me. They make faces at me, they shake their heads, Let's see how God handles this one. Since God likes him so much, let him help him. I'm a bucket, kicked over and spilled. Every joint in my body has been pulled apart. My heart is a blob of melted wax in my gut. I'm dry as a bone and my tongue is black and swollen. They have laid me out for burial in the dirt. You, God, don't put off my rescue. Hurry and help me. Don't let them cut my throat. Don't let those mongrels devour me. If you don't show up soon, I'm done for. Gored by the bulls, meat for the lions. Here's the story I'll tell my friends when we come to worship and punctuate it with hallelujahs. Shout hallelujah, you God worshipers. Give glory, you sons of Jacob. Adore him, you daughters of Israel. God has never let you down, never looked the other way when you were being kicked around. God has never wandered off to do God's own thing. God has always been right there, listening. From the four corners of the earth, people are coming to their senses and are running back to God. Long-lost families are falling on their faces before God. God has taken charge. From now on, God has the last word. Our children and their children will get in on this, as the word is passed along from parent to child. Babies not yet conceived will hear the good news that God does what God says.